Oh, all right. Uh, I just did it and explained it, but it was backwards on photo booth, so I had to use uh, iMovie. All right. Uh, I'm actually just going to erase all this and start over. It'll be quicker this time. Okay. So, I think I might have just messed it up. All right. Actually, let me see what the lighting looks like if I turn this off. Okay, that's cool. Um... Okay, so I've already explained this to you why it's 81 over 16, um, because with that negative, you flip it and make this a positive. Then, you write what you were saying earlier about creating a radical and putting this into it. So it's going to be, um, let's see, 81 over 16, but to the fourth root of it. Okay, and that's still times... Three. So we're going to stay within here and work that out. So um, so I don't know if you remember, but uh, this is how you do this on your calculator. Equals one and one half, which um, equals three halves. So <clears throat> you do three halves uh, cubed. And then three halves cubed, go over to cubed. Oh, hold on equals three and three eighths three and uh, three eighths which is equal to 27 over 8 which if you don't know how to do that on your calculator it's pretty easy you hit um, you can either just do it like this where it'll do answer so hit second and hit the fraction key and it'll automatically invert the fraction for you and make it from an improper to a mixed number or whatever like that um, so it's 27 over 8 which is the answer that we came up with so a uh, quick recap from this first step you have um, to get from the first step to the second step if you have something raised to a negative number you just flip what's in here um, and that's why you get this then you um, whenever it's raised to a fraction you do the bottom number you make it to that root you make it the fourth root of this and then uh, just keep that three keep your numerator of that and then the fourth root of this you enter that in your calculator and it gives you one and one half or three halves then with that you raise that to th um, then this is just simple plug into your calculator or whatever and um, or you can actually do this in your head. You should be able to. But um, but yeah. So it's gonna be 27 over 8, which is the uh, the correct answer. Ugh, crap is longer. I'm gonna stop.